What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all of the issues on console since the release of the Fire Song DLC. Zoss has already come out and apologized for the buggy release on PC and now on console. A lot of the issues that we saw that are people reporting on PC, some of the issues I talked about here on the channel, were fixed uh, from the PC launch to the console launch, but now that the game has released on console, there is a lot of new problems kind of popping up. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, block is not working as intended. Uh, intended, excuse me, it gets interrupted when you dodge roll or bash. The one thing that was not working correctly on PC that is not working correctly on console is the unobtainable leads. The true way clay uh, dials, the storm weather drafting top, and the frog metal buckle leads cannot be obtained. Now this was an issue uh, on PC. I made a video about this several weeks ago and that seems to have also happened here on console as well. Uh, the game can crash when you use the hide followers option. Now the hide followers option was something that a lot of people were really looking forward to. That way pets and, and companions and things like that can be hidden in towns around uh, you know, crafting tables. There wouldn't be so much clutter on the screen. A lot of people were hoping that it would help with maybe some lag when there's a lot of people in one area if they have a lot of pets and companions active. But right now, if you hit that hide followers option, it seems to crash some people's game immediately. And sometimes if you have the hide followers option on, your game can crash just randomly. So Zoss is recommending that you do not use the function until it is fixed. DK standard ultimate issues. Also, some of the banks uh, are not showing the guild store in the uh, menu there. When you click on the bank, you don't see the guild store option. Some guild permissions are not working as well. A lot of um, I know officers and guild owners have been reporting these problems on console that the guild permissions are not working correctly. Uh, siege weapons not disappearing in Cyrodiil after use. Um, so there's a lot of things that we didn't see on PC uh, that were not talked about on PC. And I always try to, you know, even though I play on console here, I always try to make sure that if I see a lot of big issues on PC that I kind of report them here on the channel. That way you kind of know going forward if you play on console that you're going to see some of these problems once an update comes out. Now, PC did have an update this past Monday. No word yet on a console update. The only issue with playing on console, the one thing I've always hated about it, no matter what game it is, if there's going to be an update put out, uh, the update has to be you know done and, and ready. Then the company has to go out and make sure that Sony and Microsoft approve it before they can release that update. Unlike PC, where once that update's ready, it can just go live. So that is the one issue I've always had with uh, you know playing on console, no matter what the game is, because all games have to follow those protocols of you know getting it approved by Sony and Microsoft. So hopefully this will be fixed in the upcoming week or so, or upcoming weeks. Um, if there's any other issues that you're experiencing, of course, make sure that you're reporting them on the forums or on Twitter. That way Zoss can try to get everything fixed as soon as possible and all at once. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.